I didn't grow up with a father, uh, so um, that void was always missing. Um, I never really felt loved or wanted. Um, at 28, I got married, and um, I thought that that would be what would fill that void. Um, my husband, he was a good provider and a, a good father, um, but something was still missing. Um, I still felt unloved and I still felt unwanted, but I think it was because I was trying to, to manage my life in my own strength. Um, I didn't have any foundation in the Lord. I thought, well, this is it. If I just be a good wife and you know, a, a, a perfect mom, that life will be better and I won't feel this emptiness that I was feeling. Um, after I had my daughter, I immediately got pregnant again, and it didn't make my husband happy. Because I feared being a single mom, and I feared losing him, um, I went ahead and had an abortion. Um, after I had the abortion, I immediately regretted it. Um, I didn't tell anybody, I kept that secret, so I felt like I had nobody to turn to. So I started drinking and self-medicating. Um, the drinking got out of control. Um, then I got into a relationship with another recovering addict. He um, relapsed. Um, I held his secret, um, and then um, it became so overwhelming that I started drinking again. Um, after I started drinking, um, I took on his addiction. I started with crack cocaine. By this time, I was in my 40s, and this was the first time that I had ever been in a relationship that was volatile. I started escorting at that time and just started um, doing things that were so outside of the norm of me. I just was digging deeper and deeper into a hole of perversion and deeper and deeper into just sinful behavior. One day, we were um, in the midst of a drug-induced fight, and he was choking me, and I remember looking up, saying, if you're gonna kill me, just kill me, because his eyes had gone all black. And in that moment, he, he looked at me and he, he let me go and he um, said, we need help. It was something about being in this pre-program with these ladies here, uh, the staff that was here at the time and the MTs that were here at the time that um, was just so motivating. The ladies who are in this program, they have left the community that they were in and it's important for them not to feel the need to go back to that community. I believe that it's important for a, a new person in Christ to have someone uh, who has been in the faith for a while, who has some maturity to be there, to shore them up, uh, to, for them to seek godly counsel, for them to have someone to spend time with that is pursuing holiness. When Ree first came into the program, she had some trust issues. Um, and I think as she was able to live with us longer, as she developed relationships and gained trust, she became more open. She um, began to trust more, to share more, and was open to insight and teaching and things like that. I learned here that what I was doing was idolizing people and about um, how God should be my core. And if I put God in the center of everything, all other relationships, everything else will fall into place. And that's when it clicked. God, I need you in my core. That's the piece that's been missing. That's why I've been feeling so unloved. That's why I've been feeling so unwanted because I was putting expectations on people that they couldn't feel. By re being transparent, I was able to help her more. She was able to get out things that had taunted her, things that she had been holding on to, that she really needed to let go of in order for her to start walking out that healing and that forgiveness that God had already offered her when she came to Christ. I graduated the program. Um, I went into the ministry training program. I did that for six months. Um, after doing the ministry training program, um, I applied for staff and I was accepted as staff. So October 31st was the date that I became an employee of Miracle Hill and I am now a residential support here. So I live here and I help support the women that come into the pre-program.
God is the center of my life. And once I put him in the center of everything, then everything else will fall in place. And literally that's how it's been. Everything else has fallen in place by putting my trust in God, by putting my trust in Jesus Christ.